Here is an image of my tall wall when I first put it up in 2020. And this is how it looks now in 2022. In this video, I'm going to share some of my past projects and a look at projects that I'm working on now. As much as I've always been into making, it's not been a massive focus of mine for a while. These projects you see in here are what I produced sporadically in that time. In 2019, I discovered a wonderful place called The Warren, where I signed up to woodworking courses to make this bench and the dovetail boxes you see here. And this was a reawakening of a maker in me. The unexpected happened. I found a love and a power of making your own tools. At one point, I even learned how to make my own planes, heat treating the irons myself. Tool making, shop infrastructure, salvaging second hand tools is something I love. But of course, the world always needs one more box. A fun project this year was making these Cape Cod chairs out of old pallets. And it was great to see how far I had come in my woodworking skills and had a real chance to practice and play around with some planing techniques. The first one went so well, I've made another one and now we've got a lovely set of chairs to sit out and enjoy the lovely weather. I like to try different materials and I love spray paint and stencils. This here is an image I created that I photographed and scaled down to make a business card for me as a festival busker. I love putting fun into my making and something I'm proud of is this little kit here. The purple liquid is red cabbage tea. It indicates on the pH scale. So it turns pink with an acid and blue with an alkaline or a base. I put the whole thing together and made it look like a spoof 18th century science field kit. And this idea of taking these kitchen science experiments and putting them together in little kits is something I plan to do more of. I really enjoy making for other people and encouraging other people to make. This stuff here is random things I found in the garage and I put together in a kit for a young maker just to play around with. The little mini spirit level was a real hit. These stacking stones are made for a teacher friend of mine that wanted a fidget toy in their classroom. I made this stand up desk and desk tidy for my wife and had real fun of making a docking station for our upright hoover. Future projects, I'm gonna build some more planes. I'm also a magician, so I'm building a small curiosity cabinet where a spectator rolls the dice and whatever number it lands on, we open the drawer or the box and I perform that effect. This is a foam ball prototype and I'm slowly making it out of wood, starting off with the drawers. It's been great sharing my past projects with you. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get right back to you. Thank you for watching.